Alright people, Mike Salden here again. Welcome back to some more Dark Souls 3. Uh, today I'm still doing the uh, Ringed City DLC. I'm right at the end of it now. Uh, I've got to do what some people think is the best fight in the Souls series. Uh, Slave Knight Gale. Uh, now I had a proper duel with him back in the day. Fought him the proper way. But I thought I'd try out some cheese strategies just to... Uh, just to see how well they actually still work in 2022 maybe some people are stuck on them and they want to know uh, are there any cheese strategies that work really and much like uh, Dark Eater Madeir Pestilent Mist if you cast it near one of these walls and uh, you stand behind it as Gale sort of just attacks the wall he'll be injured through the pestilent mist through the wall and you sort of just have to stand here and let him wheel away at the wall don't get too far back from the wall or he'll walk around or jump over it or whatever so you just want to stand close enough to the wall where he thinks he can hit you and he's just gonna stand in the mist and it's gonna slowly uh, take down his health uh, again this isn't really the best way to do this fight uh, he is a really really good boss um, really good uh, straight up sword fight duel uh, although he does get some uh, like bizarre magic lightning strikes and stuff in his uh, like sort of second phase which can be a bit, uh, a bit annoying but uh, yeah it really is a great fight and I would only recommend doing this if you are really completely stuck and you just do not have the time to fight this guy properly and you sort of just want to get to the end of the DLC um, what you're really going to need is the pestle mist some sort of catalyst to cast the spell you're going to need the right intelligence to use pestle mist as well so make sure you've sort of I'm a pyromancer so I was investing in intelligence and uh, faith the entire game to use my pyromancy which had the knock-on effect of also being able to use the uh, all the spells and miracles as well because I leveled up both stats uh, pretty far that's why I'd actually always recommend people try out pyromancy in uh, definitely the third game because it scales with intelligence and uh, faith and at some point you might need a spell or a miracle to help you with a boss you're stuck on and it's always worth it and I think pyromancy is good fun uh, but it wasn't helping me out much with Gale because the throwing the fireballs they were a bit too slow and he was just jumping on you before you could do it again this is a pretty slow way of taking him down it'll take about five minutes I think sometimes he doesn't uh, stay exactly where you want him to uh, I accidentally cast the mist in the wrong place there but you can just recast it again I'd recommend having uh, at least one uh, refill of FP like uh, put one Estus flask uh, as an FP refill just in case uh, you run out of uh, FP uh, Pestle and Mist doesn't take that much but uh, it's always good just in case Gale really didn't want to be stuck behind the wall and uh, keeps breaking out because as you can see he does sometimes just jump attack at you and uh, doesn't stay stuck on the wall especially in the second phase here he gets a lot more aggressive starts doing some different moves but again I've managed to mostly keep him stuck behind the wall and when he does run out he still runs around into the mist uh, as well so you can sort of beat him to keep walking back into it um, I'm not really the first one to discover this strategy I'm pretty sure uh, I picked up the pestilent mist strategy from someone else on YouTube uh, and I'm just uh, uploading just to prove that it still works in 2022 they haven't patched it and it's really a useful spell so he's almost down now, not a lot of health left and I've still got quite a few Estus heals left because he has been hitting me now and again 
through the wall and stuff like that so you still are in danger quite often while trying this strategy um, and if you're too close to the pestle mist I forgot to mention it will damage you as well so watch out for that and that is gale down all right thanks for watching see you again next time with some more dark souls